It's a very Cory Christmas. The two Corys in the 90s. We're gonna get through this. As stated in my top five Haim films, I absolutely love this one. To me, it possesses all the things I loved about the 90s. You know, um, the anything goes low budget actioneer. That's my shit. Plus, Corey Haim and Alan Thicke. And one of the best explosions in any movie ever made. Using footage from Rock and Roll High School and Rock and Roll High School Forever. And, um, you know, an immaculate miniature. <laughs> 1996's Demolition High was directed by Jim Wynorski of Chopping Mall and Stormtrooper fame. Ooh, Stormtrooper. Be sure to subscribe to stay notified about that one. And as I said, this movie rules. Having probably the best first 10 minutes in any film ever made. Uh, you know, here, here's a quick version. Sit down. These diehard ripoffs or, you know, one-offs were pretty popular at the time. And it's nice to see it done on such a minuscule budget. And with Alan Thicke. <laughs> you know, the late 90s were hard on Haim, especially 1996. He was getting sued by a few companies for varying reasons, and his addiction seemed to be winning the battle. Even the director stated that he could see the destructive path that Haim was on at the time. And, you know, that he had to hire a babysitter to keep him um, in line on set. I don't know. I don't know what he means by babysitter. I'm assuming, you know, an assistant or something. But as we all know, Haim would soon conquer those demons in true Haimster fashion. But it can't go unnoticed here. Really, um, Haim doesn't look like he's in the best shape. And he doesn't seem to care much about the overall film. But, you know, the natural charisma that he has is natural charisma and it all still works it's just one of those films that uh you can't take too seriously i mean i think this one will get a resurgence at some point it's the perfect midnight movie and i can almost see a theater full of cory haim drag queens yelling at the screen hey you guys please <laughs> ah you guys remember movie theaters the film was followed by a sequel, miraculously, directed by Kevin S. Tinney of Night of the Demons, uh, Witchboard, and The Cellar fame, starring some of Tinney's most trusty regulars. Stay tuned to hear all about that one. Overall, you know, I recommend Demolition High. It's the perfect date movie. <laughs> <laughs>